between vintage, classicism and innovation, Zenith has put a lot into the new edition of Baselworld. In its showcases, the emblematic models of the brand, with in the front row its famous El Primero movement and its refreshing collection called Defy. Defy 21, Defy Lab, all the models of the family are gathered here and continue to attract the curiosity of watch fans who last year already showed their great interest in the Defy line. At Zenith, they've decided to ride the wave. One year ago we presented the Defy 21. We had great success in 2017 and early 2018. Defy 21 being a chronograph to the 100th of a second. This year we're introducing a two-hand Defy Classic. It's very modern and very contemporary too. The challenge here was to succeed in having an elegant and fine watch, which can be worn with a suit for example, but with a mechanical side, a 21st century side. That's why we worked not on a traditional skeleton, but rather on a futuristic skeleton. So it's really the balance between an elegant watch and this modern spirit, so that's fantastic. And for those who don't love playing with transparency, a second model, a non-skeletonized watch with a blue dial has been integrated into the catalogue. Continuing in the Defy collection, this time Zenith plays the Innovation card. In its quest for ultimate precision, Zenith has developed a self-regulating device for controlling gravity. Its code name, Defy Zero G. We return to the segment of the great complications through the Defy line with what we call a gyro exhaust. We call it the zero gravity. It's not a tourbillon. The tourbillon only compensates for some of the gravity. Our system completely cancels out all the effects of gravity. It's the only watch in the world that's capable of doing that. The patented device of Zenith is presented in the heart of a grey El Primero skeletonized high frequency caliber. In a robust 44mm diameter case in titanium or rose gold, the Defy Zero G matches its starry architecture with a new soft metal bracelet. Nevertheless, leather and rubber bracelets of course remain available on this model. Finally, we look at the Pilot line that is always appreciated for its retro style. The Pilot line are magnificent watches, with a vintage side. So we have the Type 20, the big Pilot, that we've had for a few years. And then we have the CP2, which is the watch for the Italian Navy, that had a huge success with collectors. And this year we've relaunched two editions, one in aged steel with a flyback function, and another in bronze, also with a flyback. And it's been our bestseller for the last two days. There's one that refers to aeronautical pilots, then we have one, the Tun-Up, which is connected to motorcycle riders. And we're in this kind of gentleman vintage style, and it has a wonderful bike carving on it. We are surely heading straight for a great new year at Zenith.